Hello and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog. This week we're going to look at how you can quickly and easily create the right size profile pictures both for Twitter and Facebook. We're going to use an application called Picnic which is a free online application for editing photographs. So follow the link here and I'll show you how it's done. In advance I've already opened up an account and I've uploaded a couple of images already. So if we click on library, that'll bring you into the images I've uploaded already. So click edit photos and you'll see there's one I started earlier. If I double click on that, it'll open it up. And as you can see, it's rather a large image, too large for me to upload to something like Twitter. So simply click on resize and the ideal size for Twitter is 200 by 200. Keep keep proportions clicked there because you don't want to distort the image at all by changing the proportions. So we'll make this 200. Click OK. And click Save and Share. Now for Facebook you can be a bit more creative. We're going to create a collage. So if we click Start on the left hand side on the library and make a collage and you could choose either two images or three images to make your collage for Facebook. We're just going to choose two. We're going to change the background colour to white because um, white is the background colour of our logo. Go to grab the first image, simply just pick it up, drop it into the box and the same with our second image. Now our second image is rather large so we can actually choose the bit of the image that we want to fit into that box. And once we've finished, we just click Done on the top right hand side. Now again, this image is too big for Facebook, so we do need to edit the size again. So click Edit from the top tabbed menu. Resize. And again, you can be 200 pixels to 600 pixels deep for Facebook. Now once you've done that you can add some kind of nice filters to make the image look a bit more attractive. So there's this one Lomo-ish, this one that I kind of like as well, but I think we'll go with Lomo-ish. Once you've finished playing with this, click save and share again on the top menu, apply the Lomo-ish, give your file a name, a good name that you remember, and you can choose your file type here. So we usually work with PNG, but whether it's JPEG or PNG, it doesn't really matter. Both of those work for Facebook. And then simply save. Now, once you've done this, you want to apply it to your Facebook page. So hover your mouse over your image and click change picture. Click choose file to select your new image from your computer. And once it's uploaded you can click edit thumbnail and you can change which part of the image you want to show as your thumbnail image across Facebook. So we could choose the picture or the logo, but we're going to go with the logo. Click save and then click view page to see your new image uploaded. And that's it from this week's video cast. I hope to see you next week, but in the meantime, make sure you like us on Facebook, where we post lots of useful information for small businesses using social media. Follow the link here. It's www.facebook.com forward slash spiderworking. And until next week, bye.